guys, so we are at French Fold today. So French Fold is part of the Mercy Marcel group and I have come here before and really like their number four, which is their um, ham galette. And it comes with a sunny side egg. Always a good idea. I like this place better than gather. Why? I don't know. The pancake batter feels more light and stuff. So yeah, I feel like the galette here is like slightly more um, cooked compared to the one in gather. So it has that more like caramelized burnt taste. This is the ice latte. Looks a bit small. <laughs> Looks like the old school Milo mug. <laughs> Also, just pay one dollar for a free flow sparkling or still water, and we go for the sparkling water because it feels like we're in Europe. So we finally ordered the sweet galette, not a hazelnut one, right? Homemade. Yeah, homemade hazelnut. Um, this is the first time we're getting we a, a sweet one. Oh, a crepe. A sweet one's called a crepe, right? Oh, I see. <laughs> the softy one's called a gillette. Okay, so this is the <laughs> crepe, which we never have space to actually eat, but today, amazingly, 2022, he has extra space to eat the sweet one. <laughs> New Year resolution. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, it's really nice when it's hot. And I think the hazelnut, you can tell it's different. It's not really just not Nutella. Oh, it's calm free. It's not oil free. Mm. The hazelnut taste is quite strong. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Mm. Highly recommend. To save space for the sweet grape. <laughs> it while walking past this area in Tanjong Pagar and it looks very aesthetic. I was telling my boyfriend definitely wanted to try this place so here we are. It seems like they're quite fully booked so I uh, definitely recommend calling in to reserve a table before coming down but um, we walked in and managed to get a table because we came pretty early. I'm just going to show you guys how aesthetic this place is. Look at these rattan chairs. I really like the chairs. And I'm um, gonna try the Eggs Benedict first. So I read like somewhere that the owners, I think, um, train somewhere that's like three Michelin stars. And so the food is supposed to be really good here. Like it's not just like your average brunch food. So I have really high expectations. Yeah, and if you hear thunder in the background, it's because it's about to rain. But um, still quite windy to sit outside. Oh yeah, so all this time that I've been talking, my boyfriend already finished his egg benedict. Very nice. <laughs> and he says it's very nice. <laughs> okay. So you can see the crab meat's here. Wow, the egg is cooked perfectly. Ooh. The bread is so soft. You think it's a brioche bread? Yeah, I think so too. Tell them about the sauce. It's, it's different the sauce from the is usual. Super creamy. Mm -hmm. Very well balanced. Mm -hmm. Right. Usually they it's very yellow. That means they put too much lemon mm -hmm. and lemon zest. This He's one the is. Expert. He would know. Usually the color. Yeah. It's like more like a muted. Very good. <laughs> Really, really enjoying this. It's like elevated brunch, which I told him I was expecting, and I definitely got what I expected. Highly recommend this crab meat eggs Benedict. Croque masseur. 
crab monsieur. I it's think. like a toasted ham and cheese sandwich. It looks very good. Wow, can you hear that? It's quite crispy on the outside. The way that they've done it is that they toasted the cheese or, or yeah. they fried the cheese or, or, or I don't know to get that super crunchy texture which yeah. is nice in its own different sort of way. It's like done differently but I think it's still really nice like something different and it's quite enjoyable like it's not overwhelmingly cheesy you're not really into like super cheesy stuff, you would probably like this. Okay, we finished our brunch here at Chez Suzette. You know, it was a very lovely brunch. I think the food is really good and you know, the price point is like an, any other normal brunch place, but you get more value for your money. And then the ambiance here is also really chill, really nice. And then it's super aesthetic. So. We would definitely recommend coming here and we will be coming back as well. Gotta try the other dishes. Pretty sure that they'll be also really good. So, yeah. Today we're here at this cafe called La Fez and it's a Moroccan inspired cafe that's located in the east. It's a very cute cafe. It's got this really pink aesthetic. Everything here is pink, with like the walls and everything. So we got the shakshuka. It comes in this like special sort of earthware. Tenji. Tenji, yeah. So it's supposed to make it more flavorful. The shakshuka comes with the sourdough bread. And the sourdough. Mm. Let's pop the sour. Pretty good. I think the shakshuka spices are really nice. It has a more like Middle Eastern flavor to it compared to the other shakshukas that we've tried already. Those are for local flavors. Yeah. This is like less of the tomato taste and more of the spices, which we like. Mm. And it's served in a pretty big bowl. A lot bigger than most of the other shakshukas we've had. So. Good for sharing between two people. The pita bread is so fluffy here. <laughs> this is the chicken tangine. It was recommended by the staff here. So it comes with um, one chicken thigh and one chicken breast. There's a lot of nuts in here, like um, Moroccan nuts. I think this is chickpeas actually. Almond, olives. That one. I think this is dried apricot. Oops. <laughs> the chicken is very tender and flavorful. I think it's a nice change to your usual brunch food if you're looking for something different. Non-Western. Non-Western, yeah. Between the two dishes, I prefer the shakshuka just because like the flavor is a lot punchier. It's something I think I would want to come back for. Next time, I think we will want to try the pita bread with the hummus, like a dip platter. That was recommended as well, but we didn't think we would be able to finish everything. <laughs>